Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Yorkshire Crafter. My name's Julie and today I have floss tube number 96 to share with you guys. <clears throat> so I'm going to share my stitching progress since last Friday up to today. So um, I have worked on three projects since last floss tube. Uh, one is a new start, um, the other two are whips, um, the last and third one that I worked on was one of my uh, whip go calls, so number seven. So, first I will start with, moving that. I will start with my new start which I need sorry guys I'm not the camera I need to get the PDF on pattern keeper if I can show you guys the picture so this is the new start that I had on sat last Saturday uh, the 28th and it's called Loads of Love by Shannon Christine there is a few of us stitching this so we started it on Saturday in a zoom chat so far I have got According to my tally, 975. So, whoops. So, yeah, 975 it says. So, I'll just get this up on Pattern Keeper and see if I am right. Yes, 975 stitches into this so far. Let me move my needle minder. And I can show you guys what I have got for a start. So all this red in here is all colour completed. And I'm just starting on the white. I don't know if I've got the white colour completed. No, I haven't got a white colour completed because I believe there's a, a truck in here. And there's uh, some white... Um, I think around the tyres or inside the tyres but uh, yeah so the white is nearly colour completed so yeah like I said I have got 975 stitches so nearly a thousand stitches in this so far so yeah that was my um, new start um, as you guys remember I finished a Shannon Christine um, I wasn't going to I wasn't going to replace it but then there was the stitch along that was created so I thought yeah why not why not start it so the next thing I worked on was cup of cheer so again I need to get the picture up no didn't want to do that don't want to get the pattern up or the pdf so this is cup of chia and again this is a shannon christine when it wants to focus yeah so that is cup of chia another shannon christine design and i have completed the middle cup the stripy one with the gingerbread man I moved on and did some of the red cup here I think I've got the darker outline I've got the white flakes I just need to color color um, in the rest of the red for the cup but I might do that in like a whip and chat and I've moved on to the penguin cup now so I've nearly finished the penguin cup. So this week I have put in 1,054 stitches into Cup of Chia. 
and this is where we are now so yeah i've really been getting on with the penguin i'm really enjoying stitching that i might um stitch it again and maybe uh do a different scarf or something like that but i'm really enjoying stitching this little guy but yeah the red in the cup here is all one shade of red so i might save that um for sunday or something for my whip and chat or maybe the crafting quiz so i don't have to count but yeah i'm really really enjoying stitching this one so like i said 1054 stitches into that one really happy with that yeah 1054 really happy then next i did a little bit more on s for strawberry when did i work on this one i think i worked on this one on friday after my floss tube because i just fancied a paper pattern one a completely different different something to, something different to stitch so this is s for strawberry and this is a little dove design so fair walsh so yeah s is for strawberry and i believe this pattern is now available in her etsy shop but i got this one in a magazine it was cross stitcher but yeah like i said this is now available in her etsy shop i saw it on instagram a week or two ago maybe so yeah this is available and this one um with it being a paper pattern i'm not counting stitches or anything i'm just writing down what bit i worked on so it says finished top bit of border so yeah i'll keep it folded actually because there's not much so i finished this top bit of border i think it only sort of went up to here and i did all this bit here and then came down and met the stitches here so all that lines up now but yeah like i said i just fancied stitching on something different so but yeah i put a, a couple of green stitches in so but yeah that's what else i worked on so s for strawberry there we go and then last but not least i worked on the coffee sampler let me show you Uh, that one that one so yeah this one i worked on this one by happy mood point and it's the coffee sampler and me and down south stitcher danielle are working on this so i've managed to make some of these so this project into some of my acrostics so if you saw my february stitchy planner video i mentioned the word drink so that's there and then some of the other um were these letters down here so we've got r and let me have a look at my notes so we've got the E for one of them, we've got the R for one of them, we've got, yeah, the word drink, uh, then we've got I, so yeah, first I drink, or yeah, there is actually an I in the letters down here. And then we've got it down for P as well because it's happy mood point. So yeah, those are all correct. 
yeah we've got it down for the s as well but it's a coffee sampler so yeah <clears throat> those all fit those are all correct so yeah for the uh, letters and everything like that so this one i managed to get 389 stitches in so far but i only worked on this uh wednesday and yesterday um today being friday so i got this number six in here i've got all this border done here this first coffee bean there's another coffee bean another coffee bean another coffee bean so but yeah i got that number six there i got this border done and i've completed a coffee bean so this one i will probably stick with for the rest of this week until i start the acrostic which was the word serendipitous serendipitous um i think it means something about by chance or something i did actually um look it up what it meant yeah serendipitous occurring or discovering by chance in a happy or beneficial way so serendipitous yeah occurring or discovering by chance in a happy or beneficial way so serendipitous but yeah that is how much progress i have got so far so i'm hoping to get plenty more this week until i start my acrostic which i believe <clears throat> the first three days of that is the coffee sampler so yeah i'll be working on it the rest of this week then wednesday thursday friday and then at the weekend it will be another project so it will be the name game so uh this weekend is a diamond painting weekend um so yeah i will um endeavor to try and go into the zoom and yeah diamond paint away but um yeah i will probably still be stitching during the day it will be just when i go into zoom that i will be diamond painting but i do actually write in here when i diamond paint i actually diamond painted yesterday for the crafting quiz i diamond painted the group photo that uh, I, gen I got generously gifted so what am I going to be stitching on probably coffee sampler um, yeah so I've actually got it written down so Wednesday next week coffee sampler Thursday next week coffee sampler Friday next week coffee sampler and then the weekend um, is the name game which I can actually show you guys and give you a little bit of information on because I went to look on Harshet's website to look what issue this pattern was actually in so this is the name game so it's got Winnie, Piglet, Eeyore and Tigger so like I said, I went and had a look on Harshet's website and this pattern comes in issue 44. So if you're interested or would like to get this pattern, yeah, you can get issue 44. But yeah, the name game. So yeah, that will be next weekend. So what else? So yeah, 
that was the acrostic we've got the serendipitous so that was the that was the word serendipitous so next i have got a free pattern to share with you guys and this is by sage butterfly designs and she says are you ready for two more charts to be released tomorrow did i say free so this is a black work design and this is designed by the lovely penny over at sage butterfly designs and it's a gorgeous heart for valentine's so if you go join the group s b d sal group so yeah sage butterfly designs so that was one of the freebies that she released a gorgeous heart and there is another one coming up in a little bit um i've got another one then there was a freebie on the shannon christine designs facebook group and she says x's and does measures 26 by 26 and will be a very quick stitch for valentine's day this month you can substitute the sparkle stitches with some petite seed beads if you want to make it extra special happy stitching everyone so that so x's and does so x's and donuts very pretty very pretty then i just wanted to give a shout out to partwork upgrades they are have now put a lot of work into making a courier or forwarding service so it says dedicated part work build up forwarding service so any part work or anything like that that you may be interested in they have created a forwarding service so like i just showed the harshet um there is some countries i believe they can't or won't ship to so if you were to create a, a, an account or order something you then get in touch with ian um about your country and shipping and and things like that so even if it was just a one-off i think you could do could maybe help you or if you were to subscribe to a full build yeah he has created a forwarding service so they do have i believe i don't know if they've got a facebook page but it's advertised on the part work upgrades facebook group and you will need to email them www.partworksdistribution.com so it's all one word so yeah you can get in touch with them and see how or if they will be able to help you so next another free chart and this is by maria diaz designs and it is i don't think i've got the proper picture it's just the pattern it's a lady sat on a heart it's a free chart so i think i can share it with you guys i saw this over on instagram so it's a lady sat on a heart so yeah that's maria diaz last but not least we have the darin jones friday freebie and she says with valentine with valentine's day just around the corner i thought a love letter free chat would be a suitable one for this week 
it would of course be lovely to send to anyone you want to send love to so it's no, just not suitable for valentine's day so this is the Doreen Jones Friday Freebie and it's the envelope with some gorgeous flowers and it says sending love underneath so a really nice stitch to send love so I don't think Did I not take a screenshot of the other? No, I've just got the heart one in my phone, so let me Yeah, I'm sure Yeah, so what was the other one? Unless she's not released the other one yet. So I've got the heart. And I'm sure there was another one from Sage Butterfly Designs. Yeah, because these were the previous ones, because you had the spring. Then she had the tulip and the bee. Let me just quickly check. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Yeah, that's that one. Ah. Yes, this is the other one. So this is the other one and it's at February. So it's got a gorgeous thing of flowers it's got a birdhouse in the middle and then it's got a love heart at the other side and then it's got the word february so let me show you guys close up so we've got the heart the flower the birdhouse and then on the other side we've got the gorgeous vase of flowers um she does say, you know, you can stitch it however you want. Um, she does have it as a full cross stitch. Yeah, so this February one is a full um, cross stitch one. Whereas the other, the heart one was black work. Yeah, so that was the post that she put up that I completely missed. So, yeah, those are the two free designs. She says, are you ready for two more free charts to be released tomorrow? Did I forget to say free? So, yeah, the Love Heart is the black work. And then the February is a full cross. So that's the two. Yep. those two I think I've got one more thing left to share with you guys I think let me find it I can't remember whether I shared this one or not last time um, this is an Erin Elizabeth and it says love you so I can't remember whether I shared this on last floss tube or not but this is Erin Elizabeth 
and it's over on her Facebook group and it also is posted in Shannon Christine's because they are sister-in-laws um, Erin married Sharon's Erin married Shannon's brother so the sister-in-laws so yeah that was on Erin uh, Elizabeth so I think that is everything Yep. Yep. That is everything. So let's come back up. Well, come up anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, that is everything for today's video. keep forgetting I knew there was a reason I brought yeah so yeah. I have a little bit of haul so let me show you so I think I mentioned in last video about um, some flosses so I managed to find the floss with the creamy colour in that I've been stitching the coffee sampler and this is DMC 105 so DMC 105 so I got two of those and then I found this one but I don't I think it might be a lot darker than the other brownie red that I got but it is yeah a, a different so this is number 69 so DMC 69 so but yeah it's a bit darker than or it might not be as red because I think the other one's quite a ready a red brown but yeah this is not quite as dark but yeah that's number 69 so yeah those are a couple more that will go into the coffee sampler so those were one pound thirty each yeah one pound thirty each so those are going to be are going to go in my coffee sampler bag I'm going to put those all together so i'll just pick up a few when whenever i'm out and yeah they'll all go into my um coffee sampler uh stitch because i want to do it in all the different variegated browns and different colours and and things like that so that is definitely everything for this week I've shown any free charts I've seen um, I think that is everything I have got caught up with you guys so yeah I'm going to be carrying on with coffee sampler for the rest of this week and beginning of next week because some of the letters for the acrostic for the 24 hour cross stitch facebook group it there's at least two three days at the beginning of next week until yeah we get to the weekend so yeah that is everything for today guys so i'm going to let you guys go so, remember guys, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Bye guys.